Shalom, friends. Uh, a very, very good afternoon to all of you, and uh, thank you so much, John, for not just your generous uh, hospitality, but your over-generous introduction. Of uh, I have, I have, uh, I have been to Israel. Uh, we've been coming here for the last six years. I love your country. Uh, we have, uh, we have a, a small strategic venture in Jerusalem. Uh, with my friends uh, Yaakov and Boz, and I've always been sort of amazed at the level of creativity uh, that uh, you know that you've been able to get out of the Holy Land here itself, and hence uh, when I actually the role that I'm here on is that of uh, the International Advertising Association. The International Advertising Association is the world's leading association which represents media, marketeers, broadcasters, advertising agencies. Uh, we have a presence in, uh, I think, about 60, 65 countries. There are over 4,000 professionals across the world. And the IA chapter uh, has been one of the most active uh, chapters, uh, uh, driven a lot by my colleagues who have been here uh, uh, and whom you will also get to hear and uh, meet uh, during this entire. I've been talking about you know how we need to get here and we need to really soak ourselves into uh, the quality of innovation and really get that sense of startup because uh, I say this in context of the fact that India as a economy is tremendously influenced by the liberal and free media that we have and we cherish so uh, with that I just have a couple of slides uh, and take you through those I got it, yeah. So uh, let me just, uh, you know, uh, uh, take you through over the next uh, seven, eight minutes now, a little bit about uh, what is this landscape and why, uh, as you look at opportunities, whether it's in healthcare or it's in retail or it's in, you know, uh, biotech, etc., why the media landscape and the consumerism opportunity that exists in our market, I think is very, very critical for both our nations to collaborate. So we have been uh, a market which is uh, at the cusp of a certain kind of inflection. Uh, in the last 12 months or so, uh, we've been, uh, we are, as we speak, the second largest uh, mobile market in the world. Uh, we have, uh, I think the second largest number of consumer internet and, and mobile internet uh, uh, users. But what we were not witnessing was this breakout, you know, in terms of rapid adoption. And just to get, you know, just basic numbers for you to get a sense of where this is. But it's not this slide so much as the possibility of what you see the next three to five years. What happened in our country, and uh, one of the partners uh, which uh, uh, John and our crowd have partnered with, which is Reliance Geo, has really gone about and shaken up the entire telecom ecosystem, which is really the core enabler. And all of them have sort of come around in favor of uh, basic consumer interest, which is they've gone about uh, dropping data tariffs by as much as 90%. Uh, we've seen a surge in data from about 200 billion uh, GB per month to 1.2 trillion in nine months. Uh, you know, when you talk to majors like Google, etc., who've been prevalent there, they've seen a 400% growth in their DAUs and MAUs of some of their principal services. And I think this entire aspect has also led to a strange kind of inflection. You spoke about uh, our, our prime minister and you know, one of your colleagues earlier uh, described him as a little bit of a rock star and we take great pride uh, in, in uh, uh, you know, sort of recognizing that he's truly been one of our biggest champions of evangelizing India. And he has been a big driving force. So we had two or three big triggers as well. One of them was, you know, one fine uh, evening, 
we were told that certain currency will not work, uh, which would be, we were given all of four hours to go about making changes and another two to three months till the process happened. But that became a great inflection uh, in terms of more rapid adoption and uh, led to an entire opening of the fintech space. In India, we've had now for the last two or three years a fair amount of uh, interest when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, e-commerce. It's, it's kind of beginning to grow and, and it is, it's an area. And in the midst of all of this change, when you look at the Indian media and advertising industry, they sit pretty much at the center of all of this. You know, they've seen in what we call in our terminology an adex, suddenly, you know, digital companies becoming a contributor in some instances to seven to eight percent of our total advertising budget. Uh, they're also seeing their role change from merely enablers of communication to potentially becoming partners in a process of actual transaction. And this is a conversation I had uh, with, uh, you know, a, a, I mean, a gentleman uh, whom you all here in Israel would be well familiar with. Uh, he's been making tremendous amount of investments here, Sir Martin Sorel. We have a company which we had uh, uh, partnered with them a uh, few years back. And I said to him, I said, when you look at, you know, the world at a $70 trillion economy, and you look at the global advertising ecosystem, you know, which in every form that you look at it across print, broadcast, digital, et cetera, is little below a trillion dollars or thereabouts. I said, but the role that the advertising ecosystem does towards not just building of brand and creating audiences and leading to actual consumption, in the digital ecosystem, you have an opportunity to sort of literally create demand and go to the other end of actually fulfilling that as well. And I said, I said, what if you were to be a part of that $70 trillion consumption economy from a perspective of actually, you know, being in a position to lead that entire thing? It changes the outlook. And I think over the last decade or so, whether it is the media and advertising world, uh, and increasingly in India, the, the media world, which is a tremendously influential uh, ecosystem. We're a free market democracy, so we have all of 850 channels, of which I'm told about 300 of them are news channels, uh, because ultimately we have 29 states and we speak you know, 20 different languages across the 1.3 billion people. But there is something that unites us all. And, uh, and this, this spirit of freedom uh, is getting expressed. And several of my colleagues who are here, whom, some of whom you'll, you'll get to hear and meet certainly uh, in, the af in the evening sessions as well, uh, will give you that, that when you're looking at, you're, you're having conversations, whether it's with companies or with other digital startups in, in Israel, uh, I think this set has an ability to take you much, much deeper. And that's really where I'm coming from. I, I think I spoke to you about, you know, the manner in which our data prices have come down and what they've done. A, a, you know, a minute on the media entertainment landscape and then, you know, we'll switch to uh, just share a little video because that's what we marketeers like to do. Uh, I'm sorry, some of this data is actually in Indian rupees, uh, but uh, to put in perspective, it's, it's uh, currently about, you know, a, a little over a $20 billion uh, ecosystem and projected over the next uh, four or five years to touch close to about you know, 40 billion. At one level for a nation with 2.25 trillion in GDP, its impact is still because you know, we had a mass level of consumption which was happening in the unorganized sector. You still have just about 15, 17% of physical world consumption which is happening through the organized sector. But e-commerce is changing that. And that is one of the reasons why you'll see the surge of over 30% year on year, and I bet that's gonna be you know, understated, will probably grow, grow faster than that as far as digital is concerned. So with this, uh, I genuinely feel there are tremendous opportunities between our two nations, and uh, as ambassadors uh, to our country, we uh, really welcome this partnership. We believe that apart from culturally, there has been so much, and I'm glad that our Prime Minister has really come out uh, with full love and affection. I think how many of you all, we were all quite amused 
when we saw photographs of him and Prime Minister Netanyahu on the beach with rolled up uh, pants, you know, and, and having the typical very animated discussions as well.